when they focus on human rights, it's only ever in a positive light. Only mm. ever. The only time there is any negativity coming out of one of these people's mouths if it's, is if it's about a vegan or an animal mm. rights org. It is never about a, a human rights org or a human rights cause. They, they, they never express any criticism. They talk about wanting um, people with oppressive ideologies and mindsets not to be part of a justice movement, but all of the human rights, they march hand in hand with animal oppressors every single week. If they go to a gay rights march, go to any gay rights march in your local town, city, whatever, and just go there, you know, ask every person, are you vegan? No. Are you vegan? No. Are you vegan? No. You might, you might get to a 10th person and they say yes. But um, mm. these people will march hand in hand. And I'm not saying there is anything wrong, by the way, with, with going on a, mar uh, on a gay rights march with people who aren't vegan. If you want to march for gay rights, do it. But it's the inconsistency here that is speciesist. You can't go to a gay rights march and march hand in hand with animal oppressors if you're then saying to vegans that you can't um, have people an animal rights march who have this opinion on gay marriage or something. It's a right. complete speciesist hypocrisy. All the time. It, and that's what we see when it comes to this whole intersectionalism stuff. It, it always, and that's what I was saying earlier, like they create these standards and these expectations for vegans with really, because no one understands what veganism means. And I'll keep saying that. So they keep having us wanting to do these things that they don't expect no one else to do. And mm. why is it? And I still don't. I still don't have the answer. Why is it with just vegans and animal rights organizations and, and marches? Why? Well, let me tell you my theory as to why this is. I think the majority of intersectionals. There's two reasons that they became an intersectional vegan. One was just as a consistency thing because they were kind of this like woke person who was against all these things like in other areas. And they heard about this intersectionality thing and about being hashtag consistent anti-oppression. Mm. So it was like, oh, right. OK, I'm an intersectional feminist and therefore I'm, a, you know, against, uh, you know, racism and transphobia and blah, blah, blah. Oh, this stuff, veganism. This sounds, oh, I have to do this to be consistent now. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, whatever, I'll do this. So uh, what I'm saying is that put a lot of people who are actually speciesist into those intersectional spaces. So the majority of intersectionals are speciesist just by that nature. It's not that they went vegan for the animals like us. They mm. went vegan because they were an intersectional feminist or whatever it is, and it was just this box tick thing to be consistent for the sake mm. of being consistent. They didn't actually care. The other reason is, that I think that they're applying such double standards in Tice is because I don't know what you guys know about the dark triad personality traits. So the, those are narcissism, psychopathy, and Machiavellianism. Now, psychology studies show that narcissists are drawn to like social justice movements because it gives them a platform to grandstand above others to say, I'm mm -hmm. better than you. Now, most vegans are, are perfectly legit people. Most animal rights activists, I should say, are, are, are perfectly legit people. We're in this for the right reasons, right? We, we're not doing this to be better than anyone. That's why we're only doing this to be the better than the person we used to be. We want everyone to be vegan. We don't want to have to be better than anyone. We're asking them to go vegan so they can be the same morally as us, right? I think a lot of intersectionals, a good lot of them, are narcissists because they're drawn to that kind of far left kind of thing. And they fell into that crowd, not because they really care about the animals or these or these issues, but because they're like, yeah, I want to be in this movement as a way to say I'm better than others. And that also coincides with the fact that they don't really care about turning people vegan mm. because they they want them all i think they actually want people not to be vegan so that they can say i'm better than you mm. and i think that i think that's um my theory as to why this kind of shit happens and why they want the movement to be as small as possible that's some deep shit <laughs> right there. yeah because